credible, as Peter Credlin, Julie Bishop and Malcolm Turnbull have documented, that no one told the Prime Minister about what had occurred, the reported sexual assault just metres from his office, until the Monday when it was uh, reported on news.com.au. This is in spite of the fact that you have had at least, at least three ministers informed of this. This is in spite of the fact that the Prime Minister's office has someone who was the Chief of Staff to Senator Reynolds at the time working in his office. That's in spite of the fact that we know that there was multiple people in the Prime Minister's office knew. That's in spite of the fact that the parliament, the parliament even had issues occur, such as the cleaning of Senator Reynolds' office on the Saturday when it was scheduled to be cleaned on the Sunday yeah. under normal circumstances. All of this occurred, and yet no one told the Prime Minister anything at all. But it gets worse than that, because journalists were making inquiries to the PMO on the Friday, and still, all weekend, no one said anything to the Prime Minister. No wonder Brittany Higgins feels let down. No wonder Brittany Higgins say, gave such an extraordinary statement outside, where she said, I had my suspicions confirmed when the media exposed a long list of people who knew what had happened to me, a list that seemed to grow by the day as truths about internal reviews, Senate committee submissions, office cleans and witness accounts were all unearthed. Brittany Higgins also said, The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Leader of the House. Mr Speaker, I think uh, the Leader of the Opposition has had a fair go. I move that he be no longer heard.